Hi, my name is Sarah Karstens. I'm the clinical manager of the women's program at Princeton House Behavioral Health. Today, I'm going to be talking about postpartum depression, its symptoms, who's at risk, and how to know when it's time to get help in dealing with how you're feeling. The birth of a child can bring on a number of intense emotions, from excitement and joy to anxiety and fear. While all of this is really common, what some new mothers may not anticipate are feelings of depression. Postpartum depression is different than what some call having the baby blues. Many new mothers commonly experience the baby blues, which can include things such as mood swings, crying spells, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. Again, while fairly common, other mothers may experience a more severe, long-lasting type of depression known as postpartum depression. The symptoms of postpartum depression can include intense anger, irritability or sadness, severe mood swings, feelings of guilt, shame or inadequacy, trouble bonding with the baby, loss of interest in life, thoughts of harming yourself or your baby, and changes to sleep and appetite that can impair functioning. The most important thing to remember is that postpartum depression is not anyone's fault. It's not a character flaw. It doesn't mean that you're a bad mother, and it doesn't mean that you don't love your baby. It's simply a complication that can come as a result of giving birth. While anyone can experience postpartum depression, those most at risk are women who have experienced postpartum depression in a previous pregnancy, those who have a personal or family history of depression or mental illness, those with issues with substance use, who have experienced stressful life events during or after the pregnancy, have mixed feelings about the pregnancy, who lack a strong support system, who have had pregnancy or childbirth complications, and who have had difficulty with breastfeeding. If left untreated, postpartum depression can last for a year or more, and in rare cases, can lead to more serious psychological conditions, including bipolar disorder and postpartum psychosis, which can lead to paranoia and hallucinations. Mothers who are experiencing postpartum depression may be reluctant or embarrassed to seek help. If you or someone you love are noticing the warning signs, you should call and schedule an appointment with your doctor or your behavioral health care provider. It's not recommended to wait it out and hope that things improve, particularly if the symptoms are getting worse and are getting in the way of an ability to function and take care of everyday tasks. The sooner a mother seeks help, the sooner she can start to get control over her symptoms, start to experience relief, and then begin to enjoy life with her new baby. Postpartum depression is nothing to be ashamed of. It's a condition that can be managed with the right kind of help. At Princeton House Behavioral Health, many women who have experienced postpartum depression have received treatment in our women's program, where they're able to meet individually with a psychiatrist and a therapist, as well as gain support in groups from women who are experiencing similar symptoms and have been through similar challenges. Remember, there is help and support available. Don't be afraid to take that step for your baby and for yourself.